Hello everyone, how are you today? I will be presenting to you a video lecture to explain critical theories and concepts related to education, specifically in teaching science. This is one of the requirements and one of my subjects in graduate school study. The purpose of this video lecture is to apply a critical educational theories that could enhance the quality of teaching and learning within our current school context. Before I start, I would like to greet our instructor, Mom De Niro, and our classmates in ED201. Hello, everyone. I am a senior high school science teacher. That's why I decided to choose the theories of learning cited in our DEPED curriculum. So it is stated this way, the science, uh, the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 or the RA 10533 Section 5E requires that the curriculum support and reflect universally recognized theories of learning, particularly constructivism. Other theories contra contributing to the development of the science curriculum include social cognition theory, brain-based theories of learning, and Vygotsky zone of proximal development or the CPD. These are the theories that I am going to present in this video presentation. Let's start with the constructivist theory of learning. The constructivist theory of learning suggests that learners learn by expanding, expanding their knowledge based on their prior knowledge. The constructivist teaching aims to educate students how to learn by empowering them to take charge of their own learning experiences. So as a result, students learn best when they are able to develop their own understanding through experience and reflection. Constructivism emphasizes the active role of learners in building their own understanding. So rather than passively receiving information, learners reflect on their experiences create mental representations, and incorporate new knowledge into their schemas, thus promoting deeper learning and understanding. So let us now proceed to the social constructivist theory. The social constructivist theory advocated by Vygotsky has three important ideas on the processes of learning and development of an individual. First, these processes involve co-construction with others. Social interactions play a key role in shaping what learners know or the cognition. Second, Language mediates the learning process as they communicate with others, which includes not only verbal but also nonverbal communication. Knowledge and concepts are conveyed in language and modes of communication we use. And third, so this is the last one, learning and development takes place within cultural and historical context. This means that learners' participation in classroom and in school is also influenced by other institutions in which they participate, such as their home and community. There is a need to accommodate learners' diverse backgrounds. Let's proceed to Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development, or the ZPD. This refers to the difference between what learners can do without help and what he can achieve with guidance and encouragement from a skilled partner. The term proximal suggests that area where the learner is close to grasping the knowledge or skills to be learned. It recommends that learning occur best in the CPD, the zone where the instruction is the most beneficial, 
where the task is only just beyond the individual's capabilities. An important process, therefore, is for the teacher to identify what the learners already knows and can do so that the teacher can provide the close to environment. Successful scaffolding does require appropriate selections, thoughtful organizations, and sensitive presentation of suitable tasks. Let us now proceed with the last one, which is the brain-based learning theory. puts emphasis on the re recent uh, research about cognitive and neurosciences on how the brain learns and how learners learn differently as they age, grow, and mature cognitively, emotionally, and socially. It strongly suggests that learning can be improved and accelerated if teachers structure educational experiences in the classroom. An educational experiences in the classroom that reflect conditions that facilitate learning and improve brain function and health and deliver lessons based on the science of learning. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless everyone.